Hey guys, we are playing a game, Jolt Game, and the game Blind Date. I forgot the maker. Uh, it was like Game Geek ne Nerd or something. I forgot. Sorry, sorry, bro. But it's like you know, like a blind date, and it, in the description it says it's a horror game because it's a blind date. You're going on a blind date after mom's loneliness. Don't mess this up. Okay, let's do a shit. Hello. Hey. Wait, am I the girl or am I the boy? Okay, I'm just gonna assume I'm the boy. I'm gonna be. Yep, I'm the boy. Okay, the moon last nervously. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I had to take the bus here because my car been car's been bro broke down. Happens to the best of us. I suppose this it does. Okay, the, the music is a little too loud. So tell me more about yourself. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a software engineer. That makes that must make you a lot of money, you know. What they say that ladies like men with huge paychecks. The man looks at you for a short, short or moment. Are you nervous? You look nervous. It's been a while. Oh, I completely understand. It's been a while for me too. Frankly, my friends had to convince me to come here. It's been a very long. I'm gonna get this bitch. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Why are the noses? This looks like a freaking jail. Look at the freaking gray, gray stuff like behind them. Well, is that a carrot or is that a plant? There's no food. Okay, so what's your name? Mike, Chris, or Josh? Mike. Well, Mike, you have a wonderful name. So tell me. Are you from around here? Uh. Uh. I've moved here. Yeah, I've lived here my whole life. I love it. The air, the trees, and the people gets aw awful lonely out here. Who was your last lover? Pardon? You heard me. Who was the last woman you slept with? Uh, I don't really feel comfortable asking it. It's been. It's been a very long time if it's that important for you to know. The woman lets out a long, almost apologetic sigh. I'm sorry, that was rude of me. You must forgive me. I haven't been on a proper date in a few years. Please don't let it happen again. Laughter, it's alright. I've been out of commission myself for some time. Thank you. The woman offers a weak smile. I do appreciate you taking me out. This is a really nice restaurant. Tell me, Mike, do you cook? You know that they say that women look for a man who cooks. It's very attract. It's a very attractive quality. Well, I cook like sometimes actually. Me, like me personally. How, so how's Emma doing? Who? Haha. <laughs> do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? The woman passes. What is this shit? The woman pauses for a long while. Who you hadn't mentioned her before? Oh my god! The man, the woman, eyes grow shifty as if she is thinking intently. I'm so sorry. The girl at work told me about her. Apparently, your mother used to work at for the company. Oh my! You must be fake and some sort of creep. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I promise that won't happen again. Dude, this is freaking deep shit. It's not even the, this, the screen's not even moving. Why are you here? Hmm. Situationally. But that's not quite what I meant. Why are you here? Why do you feel alone enough to come on this date? Just, you, you've lived alone for what, three years, six months, 23 days? God, I can't imagine how tired you must feel living in that lonely con condo. Please stop, this is not polite. Seriously, what the hell? God, you're pathetic, do you? What the fuck, why are you turning on me? We were having such a good conversation. Did you really think going on a random blind date was going to fix everything? I've seen... 
Dude, I, you're angry, so I'm gonna be angry. I can see you're shaking all the way from the front door, nervous as hell. I can see you. Do you really think anybody would agree to go on a blind date with you? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be calm because this is exactly what you deserve. You hate yourself and everyone around you, and yet reserve the right to feel lonely. You've been dead inside for years, and you don't have the fucking balls to end it already. I've seen you staring at a piece of rope, hesitating at the top of the building. God, you're pathetic. You need to realize the truth. You need to realize that you are nothing, completely and utterly insignificant in the grand scheme of your life. Jesus, this has gone for a dark fucking turn. What the fuck? Dude, lady, you're creeping me out here. You're wrong. And you're a whiny little squirt who, you know, fuck you, lady, of your own fate. I'm sorry, Mike. I feel your pain, and it is coming out in anger. The thing is, how you feel is so harrowing. You seem to lose sense being human. It hurts to look into your eyes to see pain. On a blind date of all means. Everybody wants something, Mike. And frankly, what you want isn't something worth giving. This was a mistake, Mike. You shouldn't have come here. You should have just stayed at home and ordered pizza like you originally plan planned. I was never going to be the one to fix these problems. But you should. Oh, sorry. Jared's texting me sorry about that guys uh, no it's Jason well let me, let me text him back recording sorry about this guys dude this got emotional as fuck and should I shouldn't and even if I should I wouldn't I'm not going to fix your problems Mike I'm just going to make them worse I'm not the solution people like me are the problem people like you are the problem because it seems so so unhappy I don't know. That's something you're gonna have to figure out on your own. And yes, I mean it. On your own. You simply aren't fit for a relationship. You had to rely on a blind date to be here tonight. Some woman who you've never met yet who knows you very, very well. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yes, for an entire life. God, you're a mess. I really shouldn't have come. You really shouldn't have come. Oh my God, I'd say I'd made worse, but you were already a, a mental wreck before I came here. <sighs> what the fuck? I know, however, you need to realize that you can never go back to those things. There's nothing you can do. You're quite frankly destined to be alone forever. Yeah, a girl may come to your life once in a while, but you're just perfectly... Dude, you're just <laughs> saying that I'm a piece of shit. There's no another option. I don't want to say this shit. No, plain and simple. Oh my god, it changed. You are barren. The isol desolate life of yours led to barren. Does it scare you? Does it terrify you? Because, oh boy, it should. Because you're alone, completely, utterly alone. Look at your life. It's empty. It's alone. And it's just generally a mess. It's barren desert. No life, no love. Just dry, lonely land. So in the end, when faced with your loneliness, faced with the fact that you're wasting your time, what are you doing? going to do? So I'm going to leave. I guess he's not coming. What? Oh my god. What? Dude, what? Dude, that last few frames? Dude, he was having a mental breakdown. They're, they weren't even like together at the end. Thank you so much for playing. Please be sure to share with your friends and fans. Oh my god. Jesus. Dude. 
Is there another ending, or it ends like all all the time like that? How long have I been recording? Ten minutes. Oh my god. Is it just gonna crash? Oh my goodness. Is, is it just a black screen? Is it just a black screen right now? Okay. So I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And wow, this game. It's like they, they, they weren't even like together. Like he was just sitting alone and like having a mental breakdown and the, like the woman was just sitting there. Okay. Comment down below what you thought and no one's gonna comment on this because no one's watching this but ah uh, well it's fun to do this something like this once in a while so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video when like don't die because well I guess don't kill yourself because this game teaches a lot okay bye guys like seriously bye guys like there's nothing left to there's nothing left like, okay bye guys